The True Meaning of Family. Published on July 31, 2019, by Carl Donk. Just like I wrote a few days ago about the word sex, the word family also doesn't mean what most people think that it means. Its true meaning shines a lot of light on the widespread slavery that we have all over the world today. If you are part of a family, or in the worst case, are the head of one, it's really not as positive a thing as you probably think it is, in fact it's very far from positive. It's nothing to be proud of. If we look at the etymology of the word family, we find that it derives from the Latin word familia, which means the servants in a household. The word familia itself derives from the Latin word famulus, which means slave or servant. As the German philosopher Friedrich Engels wrote in his book, The Origin of the Family, Private Property, and the State, in the third chapter titled The Pairing Family. Quote, The word familiar did not originally signify the composite ideal of sentimentality and domestic strife in the present-day Philistine mind. Among the Romans it did not even apply in the beginning to the leading couple and its children, but to the slaves alone. Famulus means domestic slave, and familiar is the aggregate number of slaves belonging to one man. At the time of Gadgus, the familia, ideist patrimonium, i.e., paternal legacy, was still bequeathed by testament. The expression was invented by the Romans in order to designate a new social organism, the head of which had a wife, children, and a number of slaves under his paternal authority, and according to Roman law the right of life and death over all of them. The word is, therefore, not older than the ironclad family system of the Latin tribes, which arose after the introduction of agriculture and of lawful slavery, and after the separation of the Arian Italo from the Greeks. Marx adds, The modern family contains the germ not only of slavery, servitus, but also of serfdom, because it has from the start a relation to agricultural service. It comprises in miniature all those contrasts that later on develop more broadly in society and the state. End quote. So we see that the word family actually refers to the collective slaves in a household, among whom the man is usually the head in most societies around the world today. This is consistent with what I discussed in my post, Why Getting Married is a Very Bad Idea, where we saw that the word for husband means owner of a wife. A wife was nothing more than the property, or slave, of her husband, and this is still mostly the case today. The same can be said of children, who are mostly treated by their parents as property, slaves who have to obey their every command or else suffer the consequences. Let's also not forget that the head of the household used to trade his daughters with their future owners, also known as husbands, for other resources, an economic transaction that we know of today as marriage. It's important to realize that although the word familiar isn't very old, the way of living that it describes predates the Romans by thousands of years. As I discussed with examples in my post, why getting married is a very bad idea, this way of living can be traced all the way back to biblical times, and indeed even much further back to the ancient Sumerian civilization. Today most people attach a composite ideal of sentimentality to the word family, as Engels noted, just like they attach ideals of romance and love to the word marriage, all while failing to realize the true evil origins of these related concepts. Again we see that history can be changed by simply changing the meaning of one word, fooling people into living in an alternate and fake reality, one where they accept slavery as completely normal and indeed even desirable. Both family and marriage ultimately find their origins in the policies of sexual suppression and repression, which were forced on humankind many thousands of years ago, as discussed in my post Sexual Suppression and Repression 1, Definition and Origin. Thank you for listening. This article was originally published on Carl Donk's blog at blog.carldonk.com. Remember to visit for regular updates. You can also find this content published on archive.org and lbry.tv. Remember to save a local copy of this video and any other content that you would like to continue to have access to in the future. 
You never know, those goddamn motherfuckers in big tech might censor this content in the future.